Sherry and I are becoming sunbirds. What's a sunbird? Stay tuned. Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Hi guys, I'm Rob from Outdoor Travel Channel, RV Travel Buddy, and RV Travel Quest. The reason we're using all those playlists is we have an adventure coming up. Yes, Sherry and I are becoming sunbirds. What's a sunbird? Well, when you live in a hot climate like Arizona, and for those who've been watching our videos, you, you've heard that we bought a home down here. Well, you're always going to have the wanderlust. It's not going to go away. We know that. So just because we have a home doesn't mean we don't like to travel. We just have a base now. So we're from Washington State, and you know uh, we've always been in love with Washington and Oregon. We love that area and the western side with the evergreens. But it's hard to live in with when it rains nine months out of the year and the gray clouds kind of get to you. However, the Northwest is a beautiful place, especially in the summer. There's no place more beautiful. So, as you know, we have a uh, Montana 3625 uh, fifth wheel. And so we decided instead of storing our fifth wheel here in the desert, and believe me, the sunshine is brutal, we decided to go to Washington and take our fifth wheel up there and store it in the Anacortes area of Washington State. There we will start uh, utilizing transport companies. How is it going to work? Well, uh, one or two times a year we're going to either drive up or fly up to Washington as a vacation contact the transport companies, have them go to the storage area and pick up our fifth wheel and place it where we want it in Washington State. <laughs> Basically, we're going to be sunbirds and we're quite excited about that. And second, we'll, I'll be happier to know that I have my fifth wheel stored in cooler temperatures. Yes, there'll be more rain, things like that, but I'd much rather have it up there. The, the sunshine up here is just absolutely brutal on equipment and I think I can maintain a fifth wheel better in cooler, more moist uh, environments. So the way this is going to work, and this is just our introduction video, is we're going to leave in a few days and start driving the fifth wheel up to Washington State. And we're going to give ourselves three days to do that. Along the way, we'll be going through uh, Las Vegas, Reno area, Central Oregon, and then eventually Anacortes, Washington. When we get up there, we're going to be spending three days. <laughs> so, why just three days? Well, we're going to have our truck. We're going to, we already have arrangements to store the RV. We're going to stay in the RV for a couple of days to enjoy Washington, but we have a mission. We're from Washington State. Up in Washington, we have a storage unit, a 10 by 20 storage unit. So we did the evaluations and stuff of how much it would cost to rent a truck, fly up and all that. And the numbers were pretty high. So we kind of came up with this idea. Let's take the RV up, turn it into a sunbird situation. While we're up there, we're going to rent a U-Haul trailer, the biggest one they have. Load up from the storage unit the most critical things we want for our household in Arizona. Things like uh, uh, family pictures, uh, certain uh, uh, dishes, knickknacks, and things that we've always held on to because we knew we'd be in a home again someday. So then we're going to drive back with our, my truck with the U-Haul trailer with all of our little goodies <laughs> and along the way we're going to and uh, visit with family in Central Oregon. And uh, during this whole trip, we're gonna be doing documentation, photography, uh, all the ins and outs of getting a RV uh, out of storage and running again. And so this is the introduction. So I don't know how many videos there'll be pertaining to this trip, but it should be quite interesting. And this is, once again, I've seen a lot of people do sunbirding. And now we're gonna become one. And if you look right there, 
is a video that we made like three years ago explaining what sudden birds are. And if you don't want to click on that link right now over there, <laughs> then um, in the description I have a link to that video. So I highly recommend you watch it so you can see what a sunbird is. And there's actually quite a few of them. I was really amazed. So get ready, put on your seatbelt, get on board. The next video will kind of tell you a little bit about us prepping and how we're going to get the RV ready to go. And then uh, uh, we also will be uh, right after we get back from that trip, it's going to take almost 10 days to do this trip, then we're going to go into our boating and what we've been doing to get the boat ready to go to take up the Lake Powell. Things are starting to happen. We're kind of sorry that we <laughs> haven't been around much, but we've been busy. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to subscribe. Please make sure you highlight the little bell thing so you know when the new videos come out. Uh, we'll try to spread the videos out two to three days apart. Uh, it will be a series called S Becoming a Sunbird. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Love to hear your feedback. Please leave your comments. We uh, love to hear from you. We're really glad to be back uh, making videos again. And everybody, be safe out there. We'll see you on the road. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel. We look forward to showing you how we become sunbirds. Don't forget to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Take care now.